So it's been a minute since I have done an updated everyday makeup drawer video, but today that is exactly what we are doing. My everyday makeup drawers here have not been updated in several months. Um, I've been using these products over the last few months over and over again, pretty much exclusively. Occasionally I will go to my makeup collection to reach for something specific, but today I will be going through these drawers, taking out everything that I feel like I've gotten enough use out of recently or things I feel like I want to declutter and then we will go over to my main makeup collection and replace the products with some stuff that I haven't used in a while. I did just get out of the shower so if you see a towel on my head here, that is why. Um, so um, I'm going to set up my camera and we'll go through the drawers taking everything out that we don't need in here anymore and then it'll be time to go over here and switch things up. So starting off in this section over here, I have primers and foundations. So we are gonna try to do really good here. Um, I have been working on downsizing my collection, my makeup collection, my skincare collection, all of those things. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit more cutthroat in particular when deciding what to keep and declutter in this video. So um, we're going to start off with primers. First up I have this one from Pixie. This is the Rose Radiance Perfector. I think this is a really nice product. It's nice and glowy. It does have a rose scent to it which I'm not the biggest fan of but I have a ton of glowy primers so um, although I think this is a nice product I just don't think that I need it so I'm going to be decluttering this one. Speaking of pixie and glowy primers, we also have this one. This is the Flawless Beauty Primer. I absolutely love this primer. This one is super, super glowy, very hydrating. Um, it has kind of the color of the packaging here, and I love wearing this underneath foundation. So this one I'm definitely keeping. Although I am keeping this, I am going to take it out of my everyday makeup drawer because I know that if this is in here, this is going to be pretty much the only thing that I reach for. So it'll be staying in my makeup collection, but not in my everyday makeup drawer. I also have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Instant Soft Focus uh, Wonder Glow Primer. It's another glowy primer. This one's a lot more expensive than the Pixie one. This one is a bit of a thinner consistent see and it does give you a different finish. I do love this product a ton um, so I am gonna keep it but it will be going back in my makeup collection and then finally we have this one from Milk Makeup. This is the oh boy Jarvis's um, uh, pressure washing and it's a bit loud so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this video right now. I guess I'm gonna have to wait for him to finish and then I will come back and continue. So back to the primers. Next I have this one from Milk. Um, this is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. Um, this is one that I like, but I don't absolutely love it. I feel like I just reach for something more like the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer. So um, this is something that I am actually going to declutter. I have two foundations in here. Um, I'm not sure if I had more than two or if this is all that we have in here. Um, but first up, I have this one from Urban Decay. This is the Hydromaniac. I forgot how much I loved this foundation. It's so good. Technically, it's a tinted glow hydrator. Um, I would say this is a medium coverage foundation type product. Um, it has, or I'm wearing the shade 30 Light, and I love this stuff so much. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put it back just so that I don't only reach for that. I got a ton of good use out of it. And then I have the Rare Beauty foundation as well. This is one that I have mixed feelings on, but for some reason I just struggle with letting this one go. So for now, um, I am going to keep this, but it's going to go back in my drawer. So we'll, we will have a full fresh start when it comes to primer and foundation. Um, I have a setting spray in here. There is like two drops left in this. This is something I'm working on using up. I probably only have like two uses left and that's it. So that's going to stay in here. Um, as far as powder goes, we have the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Loose Powder in the shade Butter. That's going to go back in my collection. And then I have this Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder. This is something that I just don't really use very often, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't typically go for a pressed 
powder um, so I don't need to keep a bunch of them so then we have concealers um, I think we're gonna declutter the Fenty this is really old. I've had it for a really long time. This is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I just have other things that I prefer more than this. I don't really like the applicator on this product, so that one is going to be decluttered. Um, NARS, I have the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. This is really good. That's going to go back in my collection. Same with the Rare Beauty Concealer. I have the Rare Beauty Brightener, which I'm actually going to keep in here along with my NARS Potted Concealer. And then we have the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my collection as well. In these two containers here, I have blush, bronzers, and highlighters. Um, there's not going to be a lot that I declutter from these two, but I will be putting a lot of these back. Um, the Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter I'm going to put back. Um, I love this Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer Stick. I have it in the shade Happy Soul. This is amazing. <laughs> I used it a ton, so that I am going to put back. Same with my Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I pretty much put like all of my Rare Beauty stuff in this everyday makeup drawer and I love most of it. I have the highlighter which is incredible. This is so freaking beautiful. I have this in the shade Exhilarate. Um, oh boy. I also have their blush in the shade Nearly Natural. Nearly Neutral. Nearly Neutral. That is going to go back in my collection. Um, I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter in the shade Lit, and then the Makeup by Mario Highlighter in the shade Pearl. Both of these are going to go back in my collection for now. I have Patrick Ta Blushes in the shades She's Passionate and She's Sincere. Those are going to go back. And then my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer is also going to go back in my collection. I have some lip liners here. Um, these are just some lip liners that I reach for more regularly. The rest of the ones that I have are um, in this container here. Oh boy. <laughs> On my desk. Um, I need to go through those again because I kind of have a lot. This bronzer stick does not want to leave. So you know what? We're going to keep it in here because that's the second time that it has fallen back into this drawer so that's gonna stay um, and then I'm gonna go through these lip products and then I'll show you the ones that will be staying in here and the ones that I'm taking out so as far as what I'm keeping in here um, these are like some go-to's uh, the gloss shot from Kaja in the shade milk tea and then the expose me lunar beauty lip oil those are just like go-to's that just stay in my everyday makeup drawer. Same with my MAC lipsticks in the shades Blankety and Honey Love. Both of those will be staying. Um, I'm going to keep this Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in here. This is like a minty collagen lip product, I think. It's in the shade Refresh Rose. And then I have this CoverGirl um, Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. Um, this is newer, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep that in here as well. As far as what I'm taking out, I'm taking out this Fenty Gloss Balm. I'm going to keep these few, at least for now, but they are going to be going back in my collection. I have this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. Um, I have this Rare Beauty lip product here, along with a couple of Laura Mercier lip glosses, and then this Catrice one as well. Those are all staying in my collection, but they are not staying in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of these. I have the Kopari Lip Glossy in Sunset Kiss. This is just, um, I don't know, the packaging is kind of like leaking and I just, I just don't need it. So we're going to declutter that. I have like 10 Kopari Lip Glossies. And then I have this um, lipstick from e.l.f., which is really nice and I really like the color. It's in the shade Creme, um, but I just have other ones that I'm going to reach for over this one and the packaging on this feels really cheap like it could break very very easily so just something that I don't really feel like I need it in my soul so <laughs> that's the first drawer completely gone through um, we'll go ahead and move over to the other drawer where I have some eyeshadow palettes face palettes brow products that type of thing and then we'll go over to the makeup collection to pick out all of the new stuff so here I have some brow products, um, I have some Benefit products, the Precisely My Brow as well as the Fluff Up Brow Wax, um, those are going to go back. Um, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze, 
I guess that can stay. And then my Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, the skinny one, the brow is, that can stay. I have this e.l.f. brow pencil and then the NYX brow glue. Um, this brow glue is actually like completely empty. Like there's, it looks like there's product on the back because it lays flat like this. Um, but there's really hardly any product in here and it's really like gunked up and like colored from makeup so I'm actually gonna put this in my empties so that's gonna be leaving my collection um so for now we just have these two um as far as like these little products here I didn't really use any of these um I think I'm gonna declutter these pixie ones because they're super super subtle and that's just not something that I really look for too often. I had kind of higher expectations for those. Um, the KVD one, um, this is really pretty and sparkly, but this is old. I bought this when this was like viral on TikTok like two and a half years ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one as well. I have a Charlotte Tilbury uh, potted eyeshadow. This is star gold. That can stay. Um, same with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And then these few little Laura Mercier products. Those eye caviars. Those can stay. As far as mascara goes, everything in here still looks good to go. Um, actually, I have to look up when this came out. I feel like this might be a little bit old. The Scooby-Doo Batscara. Do you guys remember when this collection came out? Um, I think I might declutter that one just because I think it's probably on the older side. Um, but the rest of these are fine to stay in there. So now all we have left is palettes. So again, for this one, I'm going to kind of uh, speed through the uh, going through palettes. And then at the end, or as soon as I'm done with that, I will show you guys the ones that I am keeping in here, as well as the ones that I am taking out. So as far as what is staying in here, I have this Charlotte Tilbury highlighter palette and then the Vive 90s palette. Those are the only two that I'm keeping in here. Um, everything else, I, I'm not going to decide if I'm going to like keep or declutter it yet because I'm going to do like an eyeshadow palette declutter very soon. Um, so for now, everything's going to go back in my collection, but I have the Darling Dolly and the Diva Dolly from Buxom. I have the Revolution Pro Quad here. This is the, I don't know, oh, Diamonds and Pearls. I have a few ColourPop palettes. These ones I didn't even open. <laughs> this one I did use a few times, the Forever Floral. Um, but In A Daze and Super Bloom, these are, these are both still in their packaging, brand new. We have Chocolate Martini from Glamlight, as well as the Lotus palette from Ofra. I am honestly obsessed with this palette from Urban Decay, the Naked uh, Sin palette. It's very simple, very basic, but I love this. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's fantastic, but if it's in here, that's going to be like the only thing that I use. Uh, we have this Rare Beauty palette. I have Natasha Denona Glam. This Blush 3 palette from Profusion. This is really, really nice and very well priced. And then finally, we have the Rock Candy palette from ColourPop, which again, I love this palette. I used it several times. I think it's fantastic, but um, I reached for it a lot over the last few months. So that is everything that I'm taking out. Now let's go ahead and head over to my makeup collection and see what we can add to the drawers. So here we have my primer drawer and as you can tell, I have a lot of primers. I used to have double this amount, probably more than double this amount. I had two drawers full of primer. Um, I got it down to one drawer back in December, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to cut it down even more than this because as of right now, my makeup takes up one, two, three Alex Nine drawer units. Um, mainly these two, and then the third one is all eyeshadow palettes, and it's not completely full. I would say it's like 60% full, um, but my goal is to hopefully get all of my makeup into one Alex Nine drawer unit. I don't know if that's gonna actually happen or not, but that's my goal, eventually. Um, so I, I realize this might look kinda weird. This is like a suggested, hey guys, oh gosh, I didn't mean to click that. A suggested YouTube video. I had like uh, videos pulled up on my phone. This is by someone named Snitchery. <laughs> So sorry if you like were wondering what that was, but um, anyway, um, I have a YouTube video playing 
in between my uh, clips. So back to the, the products. So um, I'm going to pick some products that I have not used in a while or that I just don't really know how I feel. I need to continue to try them. Um, so we're going to do... Oh, I don't even know. I think I'm going to do this e.l.f. one, the Power Grip Primer. I don't think I've used this yet. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Makeup one, but this is like, this one has niacinamide in it, so it's pink. The normal Power Grip Primer is like a greenish color. So we'll pull that one. And then I need something glowy because I love glowy primers. So I think I'll do the Morphe Luminous Complexion Primer, this one. Um, this is glowy I'm pretty sure and then we'll also do this rare beauty one which is newer to me this is I think I've used it like once this is the pore diffusing primer so I'll pull those three and then I'm gonna put these two back in here for now um, the rest of the primers I decluttered the other two so that's pretty good as far as primer goes next we'll move on to foundation and concealer so as for foundation um it's definitely like summer months um so i kind of want to grab maybe something that would be good for summer i can already see like there's so much stuff that i need to <laughs> declutter from here um so i'm thinking we'll do one of these laura mercier tinted moisturizers in the back i have the oil free one and then i have the light revealer one i don't know um if these would work for me as far as like color goes so i guess we'll try uh, the light revealer one. I'll pull that. And then maybe we'll do, you know what? I said I was going to take this out, the Hydromaniac, but I feel like I need something that I can like count on for sure. So we're going to put Rare Beauty back, um, but I'm going to keep Hydromaniac in my everyday makeup drawer. And then maybe we'll do Luminous Silk, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So I'll do those three. Um, for concealer, we definitely need a few concealers. So let's see here. I really like the Ofra concealer, um, but I kind of feel like I used that recently. So I don't know. I guess it hasn't been recently because it's been months since I've done a updated makeup drawer video. So maybe I'll do... Maybelline Superstay, the active wear concealer, and then I'll do my Ofra perfect cover concealers. I use two shades, one for like skin tone matching and one for brightening. So I have light sand and natural, and then I'll put all of these concealers back. Now for powder, um, I'm going to grab two powders, I think. I might do like one pressed and one loose powder um, just because I think that's what's going to fit best in my drawer. So I think I'm going to do, let's do the Nakia Joy powder and we'll do this um, Hourglass powder. This is the... Um, lighting infinity powder this is kind of like an all-over just like finishing powder so we'll do these two so for bronzer I am please ignore the tissue paper um, I'm putting back this hourglass bronzer so we'll just set that there um, let's see I'm trying to think um, I have a cream bronzer in there already so I'm kind of like tempted to just go with a classic. You know what? No, we're not going to go with a classic because I always go with a classic. We're going to go with the L'Oreal Bronze Please. This is also kind of a classic, not quite as much. Um, it's very large, so hopefully this will fit. Um, but I think I'm just going to grab this as far as bronzer goes um, since I already have the cream one in there. Now blush, I am putting back one, two, three, four, five blushes. So um, I wanna grab a few to replace those and I'm feeling more along the lines of cream. So like cream and liquid blushes. So I'll definitely be grabbing a few. Um, let's see. Oh, we're gonna do this Ilia one. This is in the shade At Last. It's a little mini multi stick, so. 
we'll grab that. Um, oh, I love these Jaclyn Cosmetics Liquid Blushes. These are in the shades Plush Pink and Plush Ballet. I'm going to pull both of those. I did just get the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Collection in PR, I think. I got a package from them in PR. I haven't opened it yet. Um, and I'm really excited about that collection. So I'm going to open that soon and do, use it in a video. Um, so we have those. Um, so that's three blushes. Okay, we definitely need at least a few powder powder blushes. Maybe, mm, no, I don't know. Let's do one of these Odin's Eye blushes. Um, so we have Sunset Clouds and Warm Sun. I think I'm going to do Sunset Clouds. This is a really pretty, kind of like cool toned pink. So I'll pull that one. Um, and then let's see. What else? What else? What else? I kind of want to do... Oh, no. Let's do this Hourglass Blush Stick. This is in the shade Wonder. I really like this product. So we'll pull that one as well. Maybe one more powder blush option. Something like this. The Glowish Blush in the shade Caring Coral. Again, I really need to re-go through these drawers and um, do another declutter series very soon. Um, next, we have highlighters. So I'm pulling four highlighters. So I think we'll add four. Um, let's go ahead and do Color Pop. This one is Lunch Money. I will pull that one. Then we have, let's see here. Let's do the Hourglass um, Highlighting Stick in the shade Champagne Flash. And then we need a few powder blushes, or, or highlighters rather. I do have some here. So maybe we'll do, we'll do Iced from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I kind of always reach for my Ofer ones like whenever. So um, I don't really usually include them in my everyday makeup drawers. So maybe I'll do like one of these, like this one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is an extra, this is like the super intense one. So we'll do those and then I'll put back the um, ones that I took out of my drawer. For brows, um, I'm putting back just a few things, two brow pencils and one brow gel. So I think what I'm going to do is, we'll go ahead and put these back for now. Uh, for brow gel, I'm gonna do, let's do this one, the um, Physician's Formula Diamond Mascara. I'll pull that one and then, for brow pencils, we'll do the Kosas one and the ColourPop one. So I'll grab those two. For mascara, I'm trying, I'm like debating on pulling another mascara. Maybe I'll do the Sky High mascara just because I have never tried this before. So I'll pull that. And then from here, I do want to try a few things. Um, so I'm thinking one of these bento boxes from Kaja. I have this really pretty pink one. This is in rose water. So I think I'll pull that one. Um, and then maybe just like one or two other things in here. I'll do this MAC eyeshadow because I don't know if I've used this. This is in She Sparkles. We'll keep that one or put it in the drawer. And then maybe, let's see, maybe a few of these ColourPop ones. Um, let me look at the peach ones. Ooh, that is so pretty. <gasps> that one's pretty too. I'll do this one. This is in the shade in Axis. Maybe I'll do all of the little bento boxes so I can try them out and see which color palette I like the best. For lipstick and lip gloss, um, I definitely want to grab a few of these. I think I'm going to do, uh, let's do this lip oil. This is Candy Drip. This is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I'm definitely like a lip gloss or in a lip gloss and like lip oil kind of mood as of recently. Um, well, actually not even really recently. We'll also do the shade Moon from the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Let's do, oh, I wanna do these Laura Lee glosses over here, these ones. So I'm just gonna do all three of these and then that might be it for lipstick and lip gloss. Oh, I'll do this little mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is 
in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. Now for eyeshadow palettes, I of course have to pick um, a large color pop palette. I think I'm gonna do Getting Fresh. Um, as my large ColourPop palette choice. Um, and then maybe I'll do, let's do Roaring Hearts for a second ColourPop one. So we'll have two ColourPop palettes. For this drawer, let's see here. It's kind of messy. Um, but let's do, let's do Retro Glam because I haven't used that in a while. And then let's do, hmm, should I do Rose Quartz or Mercury Retrograde? Let's do Rose Quartz. And then we'll move on to the next drawer from here. Let's see. I actually don't think I'm gonna grab anything from this drawer. And then we'll move on to this next one. Let's do this little elf one, because I haven't used this in a while. This is in Cream and Sugar. So we have that little one. Oh. Let's do Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette because, again, I haven't used that in a while. And then let's do the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette, the Naked Ultraviolet, because, again, haven't used that in forever. From here, um, I might do Divine Neutrals from Morphe because, again, it's been a minute since I've used it. And then I think this is my final drawer. Um... Let's see, what could I use? Nude Prism is such a classic for me. I like can't live without this palette. This is, I think, my favorite eyeshadow palette like ever to exist. Um, it's so good. Oh, let's do this one. Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels because I haven't used this in a while and I think this came out in like August, so it gives summery, summery vibes. All right, guys, so here's a finished look at the drawers. Everything is nice and organized. Sometimes these are more aesthetically pleasing than other times, but um, I don't think we did too bad today. So um, here is what everything looks like that I'm gonna kind of be focusing on for the next few or a few weeks a month I don't know we'll see how long it is until the next time I do this hopefully not several months like it was this last time um but yeah I'm really happy with how this turned out and I'm excited to kind of switch things up with some of these products that I either have never used or haven't used in quite some time and just kind of things that I wouldn't normally immediately gravitate towards so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i love you all so so much i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye